I taste a liquor never brewed from tankards scooped in pearl. Not all the Frankfurt berries yield such an alcohol. Inebriate of air am I, and debauchee of dew reeling through endless summer days from inns of molten blue, when landlords turn the drunken bee out of the foxglove's door, when butterflies renounce their drams, I shall but drink the more, till seraphs swing their snowy hats and saints to windows run, to see the little tippler leaning against the sun. To success is counted sweetest by those who ne'er succeed. To comprehend a nectar requires sorest need. Not one of all the purple host who took the flag today can tell the definition so clear of victory as he defeated dying, on whose forbidden ear the distant strains of triumph burst agonized and clear. Wild nights, wild nights, were I with thee, wild nights should be our luxury. Futile, the winds to a heart in port, done with the compass, done with the chart, rowing in Eden, ah, the sea, might I but moor tonight in thee. I felt a funeral in my brain, and mourners to and fro kept treading, treading, till it seemed that sense was breaking through. And when they all were seated, a service, like a drum, kept beating, beating, till I thought my mind was going numb. And then I heard them lift a box and creak across my soul with those same boots of lead again. Then space began to toll as all the heavens were a bell, and being but an ear, and I and silence some strange race, wrecked solitary here. And then a plank in reason broke, and I dropped down and down, and hit a world at every plunge, and finished knowing, then... I'm nobody. Who are you? Are you nobody too? Then there's a pair of us. Don't tell. They'd advertise, you know, how dreary to be. Somebody. How public, like a frog, to tell one's name the live long June to an admiring bog. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all and sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea yet never in extremity it asked a crumb of me. A bird came down the walk. He did not know I saw. He bit an angleworm in halves and ate the fellow raw. And then he drank a dew from a convenient grass and then hopped sidewise to the wall to let a beetle pass. He glanced with rapid eyes that hurried all abroad. They looked like frightened beads, I thought. He stirred his velvet head. Like one in danger cautious, I offered him a crumb and he unrolled his feathers and rowed him softer home. Then oars divide the ocean too silver for a seam or butterflies. Off banks of noon leap, plashless as they swim. Because I could not stop for death. He kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves and immortality. We slowly drove. He knew no haste and I had put away my labor and my leisure too for his civility. We passed the school where children strove at recess, in the ring. We passed the fields of gazing grain. We passed the setting sun. Or rather, he passed us. The dews drew quivering and chill. For only gossamer, my gown, my tippet, only tool. We paused before a house that seemed a swelling of the ground. The roof was scarcely visible. The cornice in the ground. Since then, tis centuries and yet feels shorter than the day I first surmised the horses' heads were toward eternity.
My life had stood, a loaded gun, in corners, till a day the owner passed, identified, and carried me away. And now we roam in sovereign woods, and now we hunt the doe, and every time I speak for him the mountains straight reply, and do I smile, such cordial light upon the valley glow, it is as a Vesuvian face had let its pleasure through. And when at night, our good day done, I guard my master's head, tis better than the eider duck's deep pillow, to have shared, to foe of his I'm deadly foe, none stir the second time, on whom I lay a yellow eye, or an emphatic thumb, though I than he may longer live, he longer must than I, for I have but the power to kill without the power to die. Tell all the truth, but tell it slant. Success in circuit lies too bright for our infirm delight, the truth's superb surprise. As lightning to the children eased with explanation kind, the truth must dazzle gradually, or every man be blind 